Uh, welcome everyone to the analysis seminar. It's a great pleasure uh, to have Professor Lee Chen from Louisiana State University uh, who will speak on uh, bound variation functions and some functional equalities on uh, nested fractals. It's all yours. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much um, uh, for the introduction. And also I would like to thank uh, uh, Galia for the invitation. And so. Uh, it's very nice to talk uh, at the Montreal uh, analysis seminar. Uh, actually, so um, I visited the Montreal 10 years ago to attend the SMS uh, summer school, and uh, it was a um, very um, memorable experience. So, and uh, today I'm very happy to talk about my work, which is on the same topic of um, the summer school in 2011. So, uh, so my work is um, based on John works with uh, lots of co-authors and uh, two of them are here, uh, Fabrice and uh, Lages. So, um, okay, so uh, let me start. So uh, first of all, um, okay. First of all, I want to um, briefly uh, measure uh, my goal today uh, for my talk. So uh, I wanted to uh, uh, discuss uh, so the following things on um, fractal spaces. So um, first of all, it's a natural notion of uh, bounded variation functions and the uh, um, parameter. So, uh, well, so fractals are very rough. So then uh, we need to um, use uh, tools uh, which uh, might be different from the classical result. So um, then another goal is to uh, discuss about the isoparametric uh, inequalities or uh, more generally, the L1 global sublift inequalities in this setting. So, uh, well, this kind of uh, uh, isoparametric inequality, if uh, uh, so, on Euclidean space, then uh, Rn, then this dh is the dimension n, and this delta, this co dimension uh, of uh, the sets of finite. Uh, parameter so it would be one but uh, so um, well so of course uh, as uh, if we have already understand uh, what the parameter and variations are so then we can discuss these two inequalities so if time allowed I will discuss about uh, uh, scale invariant Pangai inequality. So essentially, I want to uh, discuss from the L1 um, global uh, result to the LP uh, local result. Uh, of course, I cheated a little bit uh, in the uh, Pangai inequalities here because, uh, well, we don't know what the gradient uh, is. So what in red might, uh, may not make sense. And that's something uh, I, uh, we need to address. So, uh, well, so uh, my main goal is to discuss uh, the notion of bounded variation functions and the parameter. And uh, with this kind of notion, then uh, uh, I want to uh, talk about uh, this isoparametric inequalities, or more generally, this L1 global sublift inequality. So, uh, if time allowed, then I will discuss uh, also on um, this um, um, scale invariant Pangara inequality, which is local and LP case. Okay, so, but uh, uh, of course here, uh, so what is in red may not uh, make sense. So that's something we need to address in the setting of fractals, what it should be, okay? Sorry, what is CP of E? 
uh, say uh, P E uh, P uh, it means um, this uh, parameter of uh, the set. But uh, that's something I will talk about. What it should be exactly a uh, fractals. So right now I just use the lotion. Okay. Uh, okay. So uh, yes. So let me move on. So yes. Uh, so uh, well, first of all, I want to uh, briefly review the classical results. Uh, the old results are uh, Euclidean spaces. Well, so, uh, okay, so one of the uh, motivation is to study the isoparametric uh, problem. So on Euclidean space, especially on R2, so the, on the plane, this has been known for uh, thousands of years. So uh, it says that for a given parameter, so then uh, a circle with the enclosures, the largest area A, and we have this as a parametric inequality. Um, so more generally on Rn with actually dimension, so then um, it has also been studied for like uh, almost 100 years. So, uh, well, uh, um so, Characterizes, uh, characterized uh, this parameter uh, by using uh, either Euclidean or Riemannian structure. So uh, meaning that uh, so uh, one would uh, approximate the set, uh, the boundary of the set using a uh, um, polyhedral or uh, to use divergence uh, in the Riemannian sense. And uh, so then uh, the George in the later 1915s or 1916s uh, uh, um, so characterized this parameter uh, by using uh, a lens of a gradient and also uh, a um, uh, um, um, also a regularizing heat semi group. Okay. Uh, um, another classic uh, characterization was uh, given by Federer by using the uh, matrix structure of uh, the space. I, I uh, don't discuss the details here, but uh, I want to emphasize uh, this heat color uh, characterization uh, of the parameter, which was uh, first given by uh, Michel Ledoux. So, uh well so uh he showed that uh all these classical characterizations are equivalent to uh, this notion of parameter by using the heat semigroup uh heat colors okay so uh and later on so uh, miranda jr uh Parella, um, Palo Lado, and uh, Prakata, so they uh, extended uh, Michel Ledoux's idea to study this uh, bounded variation functions uh, by using this heat color characterization. Okay, so uh, that's what happens in uh, Euclidean spaces, and uh, there may be some other characterizations that I uh, the don't mention here. So, uh, well, so that's the very classic uh, result. And the uh, next, uh, I will, uh, I want to uh, move to the, uh, to some very brief background of the study on factors. So uh, by mathematicians. So uh, in the uh, early 1990s, a mathematical uh, physicist studied uh, this diffusion of fractals, which uh, is essentially random works on fractal graphs. So in the 1980s, so then uh, mathematicians studied uh, uh, analysis on two fractals, uh, of course. So 
some uh, uh, very regular and uh, simple vectors like Sapinski um, gas cage. So, uh, and after the uh, 1990s, so then there are more and more studies. So, uh, about uh, the detailed information uh, for the solutions of uh, uh, the uh, heat equation, the heat colors, uh, uh, some uh, very, uh, some good uh, or regular fractals like uh, Sapinski gas cage, cavite. Of course, Sapinski cavite is uh, much more complicated and uh, which is larger in the category of uh, listed fractals I mentioned in my title. Okay, so uh, so there are many, uh, there are some names that I listed here, uh, especially uh, for instance, the work of uh, Martin Barrow, uh, Richard Bass, Gregorian, uh, and so on. So of course, uh, again, uh, so there are many other names which I did a lot to uh, mention here. So, okay, so that's uh, just a very um, brief uh, introduction for the study uh, on fractals, uh, mostly by analysis or probabilist. Okay. So uh, as I uh, uh, mentioned uh, about uh, uh, what we know about fractals uh, and about uh, this bounded variation functions, so uh, to uh, so the important tools for us are the heat semi group uh, and also on uh, the regularization properties of uh, the uh, heat semi group, which uh, well because uh, we don't have uh, the notion of uh, gradient, so this regularization is. Uh, in term of uh, herd continuity. So uh, uh, I will introduce uh, the setting uh, in uh, term of uh, Dirichlet spaces. Okay, so, but uh, before I uh, talk about, uh, um, before I introduce uh, Dirichlet space, hit heat color estimates, this kind of thing. Let's have a look of uh, some of the fractals I mentioned before. So uh, the first one or the most famous one is Sapinski gas cage. So uh, here we have a uh, compact Sapinski gas cage. And by scaling, we can obtain a uh, infinite Sapinski gas cage. Here is just a, a part of the infinite gas cage. Uh, another uh, factor uh, which is even more simple, simple it's this V-shaped set which has a uh, tree structure. So uh, well, there is a, a compact version and uh, infinite version by scaling. So um, both the Vishak set and the surface gasket, they are listed fractals. And uh, so then, uh, okay. And then it's Sapinski carpet, which is much more uh, complicated. Well, uh, uh, one, uh, difference, as we can see from these pictures, is that uh, for Sapinski gas kit and the V-shake set, we can disconnect the set by removal, uh, by removing finitely many points, but uh, that's not the case for COVID. Okay, so now uh, let me talk about uh, the city uh, in uh, the very general form of uh, Dirichlet space. So uh, when I talk about Dirichlet space, so there is a uh, complete 
locally compact separable metric space uh, endured with a uh, good measure. You can think of it as a random measure. Uh, and then there is is equipped with a Dirichlet form, uh, which means that uh, uh, it's a densely defined closed symmetric bilinear form, which has the Markovian property. So uh, if we have a function in the domain of, uh, of uh, the form, so then the absolute value of this function is also in the domain. And uh, we, uh, so uh, this derivative form uh, on the absolute value of the function can be controlled by EFF itself. Okay, so, so this is the uh, collusion property. So for which uh, it can uh, give us uh, a, 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 a Markovian heat semi group. So, uh, okay, so associated with um, the Dirichlet form, we have a, an allergy measure. So this uh, uh, LG measure the gamma FG uh, can um, be written in this form, uh, and also this LG form it has uh, it satisfies this Leibniz rule and the chain rule uh, on Euclidean space or on Riemannian manifolds. So this LG measure it's absolutely continuous with respect to, to um, this original measure, the Lebesgue measure or the remaining measure. But uh, that's not always the case. For instance, for fractals, we don't have this absolute continuity. Uh, okay. Uh, and uh, there is also an uh, associated uh, uh, Laplacian and uh, heat semi group such that the uh, Dirichlet form can be written as this limit uh, with respect to uh, this uh, uh, Marco Markovian semigroup PT, or uh, it can be written uh, in terms of uh, the uh, Laplacian type operator. So, uh, and we assume that uh, the heat semigroup admit a density, which is the uh, heat color. So uh, uh, if uh, you understand this from uh, probability, then there is also an associated uh, uh, diffusion process. Okay, so, and uh, all this, uh, this uh, heat semi-group, differential form and diffusion process, they are um, like one-to-one uh, -one, uh, corresponding to each other, okay? So, and, uh, uh, well, so uh, the factors we are interested in would satisfy the following uh, regularity. Uh, so, uh, one, uh, first of all, so the open bore has compact closure. And also this measure uh, mu is alpha's the edge regular. We can um, consider this Hausdorff measure. So, and also the Dirichlet form is regular and uh, um, strongly uh, local. Uh, regular, it means it has a good uh, test space, which is not too small. So um, strongly local it means if we consider the diffusion, so then there is low jump of the diffusion. Uh, and then also uh, uh, they would satisfy this so-called sub-Gaussian heat color decay. So uh, here there is a DW, which is the so-called walk dimension. Uh, when dw equals two, then 
um, it's the Gaussian, the classic Gaussian heat color estimate. But uh, on fractals, dW is larger than two. Uh, it means that uh, the heat color decays uh, slower. Uh, so, and that's slightly because uh, the fract uh, the fractals are very rough. Okay. Uh, okay. So uh, for this uh, examples I mentioned, so for the VCX set, uh, well, this we know that DH is log three five and DW is uh, log three fifteen, which uh, for which we have uh, DW is exactly DH plus one. That's very special. It's a borderline case. Uh, that's what happens for the PC gasket. For carbide, the work dimension is not known, but it's larger than two. And uh, uh, of course, so this uh, regularity and uh, uh, heat color estimate is preserved on uh, the reactor's product of the above spaces. Or more generally, uh, actually, so there exist factors such that uh, this so called fractional metric spaces such that. DW is always larger or equal than two, but less or equal than one plus the edge. So that's why we check that it's a borderline case. Again, there are many works for this uh, dimensions. Okay. So, and uh, 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 as I said, there is, a we can write a Dirichlet form uh, on this space. Uh, but what it uh, would be exactly on fractals. So uh, actually we can uh, understand this Dirichlet form. It should be EFF as the other uh, notions I used. Uh, it can be seen as like a, a, a limit for um, so the approximation uh, for the quadratic form of uh, uh, discrete graphs, roughly speaking. Uh, uh, however, we can also understand it in the metric sense. So as long as there is alpha DH regularity and sub Gaussian heat cooler bond, so then uh, we can write the Dirichlet form in terms of uh, this uh, limb inf of uh, this double integrals. Okay. So, uh, okay, we can understand the duration form either from Hitzmi group or from the metric sense. So, both of they have different advantages. So, uh, I have already mentioned that uh, um, that it's low gradient law curvature in the usual sense as um, the energy form is not absolutely continuous with respect to uh, uh, the Hausdorff measure. So uh, we don't have gradient. Uh, and also the curvature. So these are um, very important ingredients um, uh, so for us to work on analysis. So um, then, uh, so, uh, so our idea is to uh, use Hitzemin group as uh, the basic tool to replace the gradient or uh, curvature. So uh, here I want to talk about uh, uh, a heat cooler Hitzemi or Hitzemi group based uh, visual space. So um, it's a general, generalization of Sobolev space um, fractal setting uh, or other uh, Dirichlet space. Uh, uh, there are two parameters, P alpha, but uh, uh, here, so, uh, okay, so this, uh, it may not make sense for actually P and alpha. We want to find out the optimal uh, 
alpha such that the semi-room makes sense. Okay, so uh, why we are interested uh, in this kind of lotion? Uh, actually, so uh, when this P is two and alpha is one half, then uh, this um, base of space is exactly the domain of the divisive form. Uh, and uh, also, if we consider Euclidean space, uh, when P equals one and uh, alpha equals one half, so that's uh, the space, it's the same as um, space for, of uh, functions of bounded variation, uh, as I mentioned before in the work of uh, Michel Lodou and Miranda and uh, his co authors. Okay, and we can also uh, compare the space with uh, um, this classic base of space. Okay, so uh, we are interested in this exponent, which I write as a fast star, such that uh, this um, B one alpha is non-trivial. So on Euclidean space, this alpha star should be one half and uh, be one one half coset with functions of bounded variation. So, uh, and we expect that uh, B one alpha star is the uh, space of bounded variations on uh, this fractal Second. Um, so, okay, so there is a typo for the definition of variation. It should be uh, alpha star uh, in the limb inf. It should be one over t alpha star. Okay. Oh. Uh, Similarly, as the Dirichlet form, uh, we can also uh, discuss um, this uh, metric uh, Carvacian space. Uh, here I use NIMSUP. We can also consider uh, the space in terms of SUP lot uh, NIMSUP. Okay. So uh, well, our task is to find out what alpha star is. So then uh, uh, we need to uh, use this uh, very crucial ingredient, which is the so-called weaker bakery emery condition. So uh, for which we understand um, the uh, regularization of the heat semi group in terms of the herd. Uh, uh, continuity. Okay, so uh, I write it uh, in this way, uh, and uh, so uh, so uh, maybe it's it it may be easier if I write this exponent as lambda. Anyway, so if we know what lambda is, then uh, I mean, what the optimal lambda is, then we would know what alpha star is. Okay, so, uh, okay. Um, so, well, which kind of uh, uh, fractals would have uh, uh, this so called weak Bakery Emery estimate? So uh, what we have learned so far is the listed fractals like Sapinski Gasket, Visek set. So uh, simply, uh, the listed fractals were uh, introduced by uh, Lindstrom uh, in 1919. Uh, and simply speaking, it's a self-similar structure which encompasses certain collectivity, symmetry, lasting, and uh, open site properties as 
uh, you may, uh, I will not talk about the technical definition of the same, but as you may observe from the pictures I showed, so um, well, they have really very uh, regular structure. Okay. So if X is a listed vectors, then uh, it would satisfy this Bakri Emery condition with uh, the uh, exponent of a star, which is the host of dimension uh, over the work dimension. And uh, here, uh, this weak Bakri condition is preserved under direct product, meaning that uh, Xn for any actually n larger than one, it uh, still satisfy this condition with the same exponent. So although the, the, the host of dimension of xn is not dhx anymore, it's n dhx. But the exponent does not change. Okay, so uh, I'll prove uh, uses the herder continuity of uh, the resolvent. Uh, uh, I should use uh, tilde, um, I should use the this um, cap L. It's not the same notation as before. So uh, following, essentially following the earlier work of uh, uh, Martin Barlow Higgins and the Barlow bus. Also, uh, we can not uh, uh, show that uh, this, we, we don't know this exponent for Sapinski Cabot is more uh, complicated, but we do have a conjecture. So that's why I limited uh, my I restrict my title to less factors. So, uh, okay, so uh, on listed factors, so one of uh, main result is that uh, we can understand the functions of bounded variation either from the um, heat semi group characterization or from the metric characterization. Okay, so so uh, for the heat semi-group definition, it's more like a global concept, but for the metric uh, characterization, it's more like uh, a uh, local characterization. So, uh, well, uh, 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 so after equipped with these notions of uh, uh, vari bounded variation functions and uh, the notion of variation, we can then study uh, this uh, L1 sublief inequalities. But uh, so it really depends on the uh, exponent, whether alpha star is uh, less than the edge over dw or alpha star is exactly the edge over dw. So if alpha star is the edge over dw, then we only have uh, this uh, oscillation estimate. Otherwise, we can have uh, uh, this L1 global sublief inequality. Okay, so uh, the classic result would be by uh, um, um, Valoporos, for which uh, he proved a uh, um, sublief inequality on the ratio space with um, P equals two. And uh, so then, uh, it was extended uh, by Bakri, Klon, Lodu, and Salopkost later on. So 
to modular setting. So, uh, okay. So, uh, I, um, so as a corollary, uh, we can prove this isoparametric inequality. So, uh, we define the parameter of a Bohr set, uh, um, P E as the variation of the characteristic function one E. Okay. So then we plug in one uh, E equals F. So we can obtain, so this um, as a parametric inequality as, uh, so, uh, so the examples would be direct product of listed fractals, not listed fractals itself, because in that case, alpha star equals the edge over dw. But, uh, but here for this direct product, so then the edge would be n the edge x, uh, and the dw times alpha star would be the edge x, which is uh, strictly larger than one. So that's the essential difference compared with Euclidean space. Uh, however, if we plug in this uh, numbers, then what we get is uh, this term. Uh, it's uh, more like the uh, uh, isoparametric inequality on Euclidean space with dimension n. Uh, so, also, uh, so I want to um, talk uh, a little bit about uh, uh, this uh, Pangara inequality. So, our previous results uh, are about global uh, L1 Sobolev inequality. Uh, so, uh, and it's about the L1 case. So what happens uh, for the LP case? So, uh, so then uh, actually, so uh, this Pangaea inequality is very closely related to heat cooler estimate, and uh, it has been so the relation between heat cooler estimate and uh, Pangaea inequality has been extensively studied. Uh, uh, um, like Euclidean space, Riemannian manifolds, or um, uh, or some uh, Dirichlet spaces, uh, back to the work of uh, Li Yao in the 1980s. So, uh, and uh, uh, on fractals, this has also been uh, well studied. Uh, well, so the Pangara inequality, if we consider the L2 Pangara inequality, on uh, factors, it would has it would have the following form, for which we don't have gradient, but we do have the energy measure, right? So, uh, and uh, what we have learned is the following theorem which can be found in the work of Habish, Salokost, Grigorian, te, uh, Telex, and uh, so there's a type about the name of Martin Barlow, uh, Barlow, Bas, Kumanga, uh, in the line, uh, two solids, maybe almost uh, 15 or 20 years ago. So, uh, uh, so, uh, if it uh, satisfies, if a Dirichlet space satisfies sub Gaussian heat cooler bounds, so then uh, it uh, would also satisfy uh, this volume doubling properties and the above Pangara inequality. So uh, sub Gaussian heat cooler bounds, it's stronger. It's not like Euclidean, uh, it's not like a Gaussian case, which uh, this two things are equivalent. Okay. It would indicate more than Pangaea inequalities and volume doubling. 
So uh, I will early state the result that uh, uh, to talk about uh, uh, the proofs or the applications. So uh, well, as we can see, uh, for the L2 case, we have uh, uh, this allergy measure, but uh, uh, that's not the case for the LP case when P is not uh, uh, 2. Right, so then uh, we uh, want to know what would be the proper substitute. So, uh, or in other words, what would be uh, the space of solely functions? Uh, so, uh, here I just uh, give a definition for the uh, Caribbean so belief uh, space uh, 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 factors. Uh, it's uh, a little bit tricky here. So there is this explanation of a P star. So it's like uh, um, this uh, sub explanation Alpha star I mentioned before for the definition of uh, um, BV functions or uh, the variation. So we also want to understand what uh, alpha P star is. Uh, uh, it's uh, so if alpha P star is this exponent then okay everything would work very smoothly but on v6 side we do know uh, we can show that alpha p star is indeed uh, this number but uh, uh, for other zero uh, listed factors uh, we still need to work it out so uh, the LP variation, LP version of variation is defined in a very similar way. Here I only gave a metric definition, not the hit color one. It would be uh, the same. We can show their equivalence. Okay. So uh, our result is the following. So uh, when P between one and uh, two, so then uh, we can have, uh, we can show this scale invariant uh, LP version of Pangalai inequality uh, for which this alpha P star DW is exactly DW when P equals two. And uh, um, for the L1 Pangara inequality uh, uh, VCX set. So then, uh, well, this exponent, if we write it explicitly, so it would be uh, DH, because I should write capital H. So it's exactly the uh, Work the, the host of dimension uh, of uh, the, the fractor uh, or of the Vishak side. Okay. Um, so, uh, well, Pangala inequality would have uh, uh, many uh, applications. So, uh, for instance, um, uh, in the work of uh, Coscola and uh, Lagas, uh, and uh, also uh, uh, Helena and uh, um, Tyson. So um, they have uh, um, studied uh, a lot how to, uh, yeah, and also uh, Pete Howard. So they have studied a lot about how to use uh, Pangala inequalities. Uh, to to work uh, uh, at the analysis problem, like especially the solid spaces. 
so for which I will not I don't mention the details here. So uh, uh, as although I did not to mention uh, the proofs, but uh, 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 I just want to remark that uh, uh, our proofs are mostly uh, relied on uh, the properties of uh, heat semi groups and also relies on the specific structure of fractals. So that's why uh, uh, most of the time we have to uh, limit ourselves to uh, listed fractals or to uh, even only the VSEC set, which has a tree structure. So uh, I think I just stop here. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Are there any questions? Yeah, I have a question. I'm curious of the, uh, the definitions you have of, of bounded variation. It'd be uh -huh. nice to see the, the, the definitions that you have of, of bounded variation in these, in these metric spaces. It'd be interesting uh -huh. to see an example worked out of these, say, in, um, uh, on the line. Uh, do the, the, this, this gives, do the definitions of bounded variation you give reduce to the classical definition uh -huh. In R one, um, or I wonder where where I could see that worked out. Um, I was trying to relate uh, the uh, the ah. heat kernel definitions of bounded variation to the you know the classical one that we're all familiar with, and uh, it'd be uh -huh. nice to see have it have it have it worked out. Um, okay. yeah. Your source for that. You don't oh. need to work it out here, but I'd like to see if it could be. Um, yeah. So. So for R1, we did not really consider R1, but uh, I think our, uh, our definitions should still work because uh, you see as uh, when I talk about my result, our result uh, on, on fractals. Uh, yeah, go back. Here, uh, right. So, so this X, uh, or, or, which is elastic fractal, it's more like uh, a replacement of R1. In well, go go back, go back, go back another slide, please. Let me see. Um, yeah, back. Backward. Let me see if I want to find the. Uh, I go back uh, another one. Yeah, yeah. Go back yeah. another one. Uh. <clears throat> um. The, uh, go uh, back another one. Here. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we, there we go. Yeah, yeah. So, 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 yeah, so, so the, um, so yes, looking at the B. B, B one half R should uh -huh. be BV of R. I'm uh, trying to work out. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Trying to work out, it should, it should get, it should reduce to the standard definition. Yes. Of, uh, you know, with ordinary Lebesgue measure, you know, uh -huh. on the line. Yes, yes. And um, doesn't seem, uh, I was sketching it out here and I sort of getting some, I, make, I was making some progress, convincing myself that, yeah, it probably is, but, um, Wondered if there's a um, a ready reference that just says you know this is how it's done. Ah, okay. So um, the reference should be um, the paper of uh, uh, Michel Lodou because when I think about this problem, I did a lot to specifically consider uh, and the case n equals one. So just wondered. Uh, I mean, is, is, is it a new kind of? One. Yeah, yeah. That's that's what I yeah I was yes. yes that's 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 what I was trying to yes the the thing at the uh -huh. bottom of the Lodou. <clears throat> I was considering n equals one, uh -huh. and hoping I would get uh, bounded variation. Um, so I guess I will uh, look up Ledoux's paper. I can okay. find it, okay. and it should you know it should it should give you you know the usual bounded variation. That's what I would hope, unless yes, it's a different yes. no notion. It there we go. Be, yeah. I think we have. I think I have a uh, something in the chat here. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Okay, so okay. I'll keep, okay let me get that up. Okay. There is a reference in the chat. Yeah, I see it. I'm copying it down. And I wanted to ask a question. Uh, mm -hmm. Is there uh, some kind of trigger inequality for, you know, 
Laplace eigenvalue, like first first non zero eigenvalue, uh, and um, the uh, the Chigger constant. Uh, the Chigger constant. I think there should be some work on that, but uh, we did a lot of work. Yeah, um, maybe for you it's not so useful. So uh, yeah. Anyway, I'll I'll try to look it up. I think I, I think there should be work like maybe by Gregorian and uh, mm -hmm. his courses. Okay. Yeah, but I do not check that. Yeah. Okay.